close our eyes where we are and sing this song loud and clear. Sing with a loud voice, sir. Power must change us in my life. No matter what happens. Sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah! 
submit your power. Submit your power. Submit your power. thank you for a time like this and we thank you for this wonderful program you have established to put the gear of the enemy in the reverse position and to rescue families who have been bondage for centuries father as many as are gathered in this program Every yoke, every bondage, every failure, every weakness assigned to any family gathered here or attached to this program, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. As many families are represented here, I use you as a point of contact for those families. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please sit down for just a few minutes. I'm reading 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 27, as an introduction to the prayer we're going to pray now. 2 Kings 5, 27. Only Naaman was present at this event. His wife was not there. His children were not there. Maybe he had the daughters in law, they were not there. Only himself was present. And this is what took place. Second Kings chapter 5, verse 27. Elisha. Elisha had issued a family curse on Naaman. This is just to give a sample of what many are going through which they don't know about. 2 Kings 5.27 said the leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee. I wish it stopped there. But it didn't stop. And unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence as a leper, as white as snow. Meaning that if somebody is from Gehazi's family, immediately that baby is being delivered. He collects his leprosy and goes on with it. It means that for a pastor to even help that person, the pastor has to have the strategy, techniques, and the wisdom to go back to those things that were said. Therefore, a lot of families are passing through things like this, which they did not manufacture. Somebody manufactured it 
but they are carrying the burden. And a lot of people have, they suffer like this. They were carrying engagement materials to from one village to the other to go and marry a wife. And one man who was then a robber got to those people carrying the engagement. Attacked them. Stole those materials from them. So they couldn't get the engagement materials to the other village. And the family on the other side got so insulted that you didn't bring anything. They didn't know that they were robbed. So the ma marriage was cancelled. The bridegroom, family of the bridegroom, the issued curses and the man that stole the engagement materials. That there will never be any marriage in his family again. And that was how it started. All the ladies there, beautiful ladies, nobody wants to marry them. The men they were not getting married until the youngest found a way to the prayer city. They were able to know the story of the stolen engagement materials. This problem of generational battles and family curses has turned winners to failures. It has turned royalties to servanthood. It has turned abundance to lack. It has turned hero to zero. It has turned fertile lands to desert lands. It has turned resort to insult. And stars to scars. It has turned light to darkness. Gold mine to dustbin. Eagle to chicken. This kind of thing we are dealing with. It has punched out so many destinies and programmed so much destiny impotence on the part of people. You may be battling with them now. And that's why we are here. So with all the aggression you can gather, if you take your pamphlet at the back page, you find this press there. All the list of your family members in one hand and start with these prayers now at the back of this pamphlet given to you. Close your eyes as you start the prayers and pray from your heart. While holding that paper in your hand.
Amen. Pick up the list in your hand. Arise to your feet now. Stretch that list towards the heavens. And let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. The louder your amen, the quicker your testimony. We're not here to joke. We're not here to play games. We're here to stop them before they stop us. We're here to recover the stolen blessing of your family land. We are here to put to shame any power that wants to put your family to shame. Therefore, I decree by the spirit of the prophets, by the anointing that breaketh yokes, at every wickedness in any family here, any wickedness in any family here. That today the wickedness must expire in the name of Jesus. It must expire. It must expire. It must expire. It must expire. In the name of Jesus. Any power assigned to drag down your family line. I drag them down in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. Your amen is not loud enough. I decree upon you too that every enemy of your next level, no matter how deep rooted they are, I command them to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every family represented there in this program. Hear the word of the Lord. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Let your amen roll like thunder. Every wicked elder monitoring your family. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Every wicked elder standing against the glory of your family. I command them to be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Now let your amen be dynamic in this one. Powers mocking your family beginning from today there shall be disgrace in the name of Jesus there shall be disgrace 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 in the name of Jesus I decree upon you any evil tree in your family company any material in your family house that is an evil altar that is standing against you moving forward I command them to wither in the name of Jesus they must wither in the name of Jesus they must wither in the name of Jesus let your amen roar like thunder Thank you, Jesus. Now pray these three prayers before you sit down again. The way you pray this prayer will determine what's going to happen next. Say negative patterns. Shout it with hatred. In my family line. In the name of Jesus. Sir. 
destroy the evil pattern in Jesus name we pray say heavens over my family open by fire can you shout that loud let your voice be louder than that in the name of Jesus open your mouth and say it Something is happening over there. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number three. Say this with boiling anger. Any satanic embargo on my family line can you shout it loud before I leave this place in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray say polygamous curses or tad in my family this prayer is going to cause deliverance for thousands of people polygamous curses or tad in my family Blood of Jesus, cancel them now in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cancel them. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. amen. Now hold that paper close to your mouth. And begin to pronounce all kinds of blessings on your family life. All kinds of blessings. Pronounce it on your family life. Do that under the anointing here now. Whosoever shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and you shall not doubt in this man. The Bible says, It shall be so. He shall have whatsoever he said. Prophesy on the life of your family members. Amen.
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down for a few minutes, my beloved. Reading from the book of John, the gospel according to St. John. John chapter 9. From verse 1. The gospel according to St. John chapter 9. From verse 1. There are many things the Bible people understood, but we, we do not understand very well. In John 9, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth and his disciples who understood what we are dealing with today they asked him say master who did sin this man for his parents that was born blind look at the question they threw at Jesus they knew very well this man could be the source of his problem his parents who could be the source of his problem so that's why we have to aggressively deal with all kinds of family curses and covenants all the like father like son problem like mother like daughter problems there are many families nobody lives long enough to become old there are some families everybody is a polygamist there are some families the men are never satisfied with one wife there are some families all the men must marry witches there are some families there is practice of incest among them there are some family what the problem is is hereditary diseases sickness troubling the great grandfather is troubling the grandfather is troubling the father is now troubling the son in some family you have insanity working therein in some family you have poverty moving along the line in some family is marital delay in some is next success syndrome in some is backwardness bad husbands bad wives it goes just like that in some families the husbands die prematurely in some families the men don't work it's women that work in some family everybody has broken marriages there are some families that are women living with without marriage and having children in some families uncontrollable anger when they get angry in that family is a serious problem they fight themselves and bloody themselves in family meetings in some families depression learning disabilities eating disorders this happens we find them that's why we prayed against the evil pattern it's been known it's been shown and when children are illegitimate their own children will probably be illegitimate when prisoners get out of prison a large percentage of them will be back very soon their children are grandchildren too they are likely to go to prison too drug addicts pass their drugs 
addiction to their children. These people that even things are pastor. It's not that they are bad people. It's not even that they have decided to be taking those drugs. No. But, but, there, but there is a transfer in the spirit realm. An automatic inheritance of transfer. And this is a very, very serious problem. I can never forget something which happened in the first church that I pastored. Some of you will have heard me sharing this. A woman went to a native doctor for clinic, for a clinic before birth. So that's what she, she went to do antenatal clinic in the house of the native doctor. And the native doctor knew that she's going to, she was going to have twins and charge them 15 naira per twin. Per person. 15 naira per person. Making like 30,000 naira. The day of delivery came. The first thing they asked was, why is my money? They could only find 15,000. And he began his incantations. He began his incantation. First baby came out. Second baby refused to come out. And the woman was almost giving up. And then and they said, please stop. We'll bring the money later. I said, no, I want the money now. When they eventually rushed the money there, he told them that higher forces have taken control. That, take, take away, take away, take away. So they took this woman away. They were now rushing to the hospital. It was in the taxi, one of our members saw her. And the man explained what happened. And this member laughed. She went to native doctor and the doctor, you are rushing out to hospital. Say, come, come, come. We're having, we're having a prayer with our meeting. Come, come, come. And they divided the taxi and came to church. They pray water, I don't even pray for five minutes. And the second baby came out. But that's a problem. As a Taiwo, first one, born in the house of the native doctor. As kind of born in the church. Looking at the course of their life now. The Taiwo, as I speak, is in jail. The kind of a pastor. So you see what happened to them? Affecting the course of their life. Some families go from poverty to poverty in generations. Some families are religiously blind. They will never come to the truth. Some is alcoholism and all kinds of addictions. And then some is premature death. We, like we said last time, these things are fightable. We must fight them. And this is why we are here. Bow down your heads, beloved. They are fightable. Jacob fought from is Jacob to Israel. You must accept that it's a problem. You surrender your life to Jesus and give it a fight. The fight is about to start in a few minutes from now. But before we do that, if you are in this meeting, you are not born again. You have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. These prayers will not help you too much. 
but I'm here to give you maximum assistance. So find a way to this altar here. Quick. From whatever you are listening to me to find a way to the altar. Or get on your knees where you are. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I also want to defeat these curses. Find a way to this altar very quickly. Surrender your life to Jesus first. Jesus is waiting for you here. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Just bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light in Jesus' name. Amen. If you said that short prayer with me, I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. I thank you for this decision they've taken today. Lay your hands upon them as they take this decision. Write their names in the book of life. Keep them standing by your power. 
And today that they have come here, let their lives no longer remain the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me. You've taken the most important decision in life. See this pastor over there. Just follow the pastor for a few minutes. Then you can join us later. God bless you as you do so. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord's my person in the land of gathering this morning all eyes closed please and in your family you notice that somebody just walks away whether he's dead whether he's alive nobody knows he just walks away find the way to this altar and be on your knees and whatever prayer you hear me call from here, pray them like a man and woman who is not ready to take no finance. Shout this loud and clear. Don't negotiate with any power. Every rage of witchcraft. In my family, Dead. in the name of Jesus, Bound in rage to die. In Jesus' name we pray. Strong man. I sign against my family line. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your right hand upon your head. So any satanic pronouncement on my life as a child. Can you shout his Lord? Is that the loudest you can say? Is that? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The next three prayers. They are specially vomited by the Holy Ghost to bring 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours miracles. Can you shout this loud and clear? Curses at the gate of my testimonies. Can you shout it loud? Jesus. name we pray. This is number two. Battles against my showers of blessing. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Battles against my chance of blessing. name we pray this is number three I want you to lose your temper in the Holy Ghost as you pray this prayer that I vowed to pursue me to the grave can you shout with it only anger
distribute at the grave must die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. Please don't say anything. Silence now. Father, I'm praying for that brother. I'm praying for that sister. The power that destroyed your father. The power that destroyed your mother that has been transferred into your life now. In the name which is above all names. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I command them to depart from you. Uh, don't say anything for now. Just depart from him. Depart from her. Depart from him. Depart from her. Depart from him. Depart from her. Powers that wants to kill you. With what killed your parents. I bind them and I cast them out. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Every inherited infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. I bind you and I cast you out. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's happening. That's right. All these sicknesses you inherited. They're going back to the pit where they came from. Stretch your right hand to this altar now. Father, let your power fall upon this hand. Let the anointing for breakthrough come upon this hand. Let the yoke removing power fall upon this hand. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, smite it aggressively. Shouting, Blood of Jesus. Let that shout of blood of Jesus be loud. Let's go. Blood of Jesus. Yes. Aha. See what is going on. See what is going on. Makatela kaya mushente. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That brother over there. I have a word to you from the Lord that these powers that are struggling to cover your glory the Lord has crushed them to powder today the chain that domestic witchcraft have applied on your destiny is broken now in the name of Jesus. Something is happening in that place. Yes. Yes. The wicked elder standing against you in your place of celebration. Standing against you in your place of glory. Within the next 24 hours. The wicked elder shall be buried in the name of Jesus. Makate Lakaya Boshente. 
and I decree upon your life all the powers that are mocking you mocking your struggles they are disgraced now in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus iniquity of your father's house crying against your glory is dead today in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus a seven for the man Thank you, Jesus. Now, please bring out your thanks and your offering for this meeting. And while you are coming to Palm of Strangers, bring something special unto the Lord. Bring a seed to all this prayer we are praying on family deliverance. And put them in the offering boxes. Or use our number on the screen. Father, we thank you for the thanks and the offering. Good measure, praise and falling over. Let it be the lot of your children in the name of Jesus. All the seed that are sown today for the family. Let them bring trillion testimonies in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon your people and bless them to a mighty degree. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The boxes are before you.